This one ain't been running in about three or four months, guys. Probably three months. Well, maybe two, two, three months. And uh, I hate these things. The uh, muffler comes out, or the pipe comes out into this muffler, and they always go full of oil when it's it. So, uh, I mean, she runs good, but uh, she is a smoky right now. Well, I was riding a silly thing around here for a second, and a uh, damn belt flipped off there. So I pushed it up here and let it run for a second, and the damn thing, I think it's uh, burning the belt up in there. I was telling Dylan, because this might be his, well, I was contemplating putting the, uh, I got got that Murray 6-speed transmission so we can get rid of this stupid forward neutral reverse crap and uh, stick that 6-speed in here. Um, I don't know how difficult it would be because I don't have any tires or rims or anything that would fit that rear end, but uh, you know, I could always bore these out or weld some hubs or something onto them or something. I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to look, but uh, yeah, she just, this thing, it throws the belt off of it. You can look right here. That's the belt right there. It just unwinds it and spits it right off. So I did that before and was fine. I put it back on there, rode it around for a little bit. Now she spit it right back off again, so I don't know, tubes. Yeah, I think that might have been the reason why uh, when I picked it up. I think I put the belt back on that when I first got it. It's been sitting for so long, I can't remember. I remember putting the belt on one and uh, running around and stuff. I know this one here, the last time that I used it, I had it basically sold, and it chucked the belt off of it again. It's probably just a pulley or something underneath there, and I. I'm almost positive I got an extra one here somewhere um, from where I took that other one apart, but you can still see here the freaking muffler's get, got hot on it. She's still smoking. So, yeah. So, worst case scenario is it's probably going to need at least a belt and a pulley. Um, at least. But then, like I said, I thought about swapping it over to that Murray transmission and uh, putting it on there. But I don't know if I have wheels or anything to fit that yet. We'll have to look around and see if I got anything that fits that style uh, rear end because it is different than anything that I have right now. So, but we'll have to see guys. How's it going tubes? Uh, so I'm out in the garage again. So uh, yesterday I pulled the carburetor and the tank off the Cub Cadet out here, the uh, Cub 127. So um, yeah, I don't know what was in the bottom of the tank of that thing, but Man, sure, it is sure nasty. I don't know if y'all see that or not. Uh, there's a little bit of water in there, but there's like red particulate junk up in the that was in the tank. Um, the uh, valve that went on the bottom of the tank was pretty much just rusted wide open. Um, so I went through and I cleaned that out. So she's fine now. Uh, cleaned the carburetor out. Um, this is. These were clean towels when I got them, and that's all the nastiness that was in them. Um, the uh, carburetor kit that I got was not the right one for that carburetor. So, yeah. Yeah, the mail's here. Let me go get the mail. Uh, it's just junk mill. So back to what I was saying. Um, got everything cleaned out. Uh, the carburetor kit that I purchased for this particular carburetor is not the one for it. Um, I couldn't use anything out of this kit. So this is what I had got in the kit. These pieces here. Um, and this was the kit number that was told to be for this particular engine, which it is not um, at all. So. I still got to put this in there. This is the piece for the other carburetor for this one. So, yeah. So I went through cleaned it out. I mean, somebody's been in this before. Because what I noticed on it is for the heads, for the bolts for it, um, somebody's went in there and they cut a slot in it. Oh, there you go. You see that there? Somebody's cut a slot in it. Because um, it is kind of in a wonky place. Because you got to kind of go around and in there to get to it. So you almost have to either use a wrench now with that you can use a screwdriver so it makes it nice and easy um, raining again tubes so it rained all night last night got lots of rain they're saying uh, 
uh, north of an inch of uh, rain for what we have today, well last night today. Uh, we didn't get any rain until after, after I got home last night. I got home about 1.30 or so and uh, everything's still soaking wet. You can look in this trailer here. Uh, about, uh, there's about that much rain in there so three quarters of an inch or an inch or so of rain um, and that's what's in that little trailer. But yeah, so messing with mowers today, trying to clean up the garage a little more, messing around, messing around, of course, you know, messing around. So, uh, yeah, there's a snapper. I love this mower. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll see what else goes on for today, guys. Okay, tubes. I'm done for outside today. I just wore the hell out. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I'm sleeping enough or not enough or something. I don't know. So, yeah. I uh, moved a couple. Okay, so I moved a couple things around here. It looks like I like red for some reason. There's three of them right there. Got another one there. There's another one, and there's another one. For some reason, I don't know. And then there's another red mower. So yeah, I'm in process of uh, sleeping and moving and stuff. Look, there's another red one over there, hiding. So yeah, I'm just kind of moving some shit around, but I'm done, guys. Come out here for about an hour, and I'm just, I'm just pooped out. So. Uh, I'm gonna put some stuff away here and go in the house and get these videos cut up and edited up. I ain't put up a couple videos in a while here, so um, yeah, kind of coming to the other channel there, guys. I got a zip tie, a couple zip tie videos coming up on the other side, so uh, they'll be uh, coming up shortly. You'll probably see this before that, but um, yeah, guys. So until next time, guys.